Slim Jim, are you frustrated with not being able to gain weight? Have you been skinny all your life? Would you sacrifice a small child just to gain a little bit of muscle? If the answer is yes to any of those, listen up. I said listen up. I'm going to break down how an ectomorph, someone who's truly naturally skinny and has a hard time gaining weight, should eat because eating is 50% of everything. It's diet and training in order to gain size. And if you're an ectomorph and you've been struggling, if you follow these tips, I guarantee you'll add some slabs of muscle to your bony frame. Because as an ectomorph, you have a high potential to put on muscle. You just gotta unlock it. So get ready to go from people saying, who's that skinny bitch, to bitch, who you calling skinny? One, you gotta track how many calories you're eating. Do you know how many calories you're eating roughly a day? You probably don't, because you're not eating enough. As an ectomorph, it has a baseline, you have to be probably eating at least 3,000, maybe 3,500 calories a day to be gaining weight. And it all depends on your activity level, your height, how fast your metabolism is. Even with an ectomorph, there's a band. So some people, you know, could gain muscle on 3,000, 3,500. Some people need 5,000, 6,000. I trained a male gymnast. Don't know why he was a gymnast, but he had to consume 6,000 calories a day to add 20 pounds of muscle over a period of six months on his bony frame because he was a complete beginner. And he was able to do that by jacking up radically the amount of calories that he ate that came from high quality sources. So you gotta make sure you're eating enough. And if you feel like you're not gaining weight, then every week increase your calories by 250 until you start gaining a noticeable amount of weight, like a quarter to half a pound to maybe even three quarters of a pound per week. Once you're gaining that, that's the right amount of calories for you. Two, carbs are your new best friends. Carbs are the shit when it comes to ectomorphs because ectomorphs really, really, really need to help send a spike of insulin to help fuel muscle growth. So with every single meal that you eat, I don't want a serving of carbohydrates. What's that mean? Let me give you an example. One serving of fruit, uh, either one small sweet potato, half a cup of cooked oats, half a cup of brown rice, half a cup of let's go quinoa, uh, half a cup of baked beans, two slices of Ezekiel sprouted grain bread. These are examples. So you'd have carbs with every single meal except the meal before bed. Three. Get dirty. Guys, sometimes you don't prepare all your meals. And as an ectomorph, you have a big leeway because you have to eat a lot of calories where you cannot eat clean all the time. So that's why I recommended in the previous post about brown rice and about bread and so forth because you can get away with it and your body can handle that insulin dump. So if occasionally you have a burger or a pizza just to get the certain amount of calories you're supposed to get in a day, whoopsie daisy. Doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. I would recommend, so for certain sources, if you're like, oh man, I, I want something nice, easy, just fast to make, stuff like white rice, bread, pasta, that I normally didn't recommend, it's okay on occasion. Now, that being said, always going the healthier route will produce better results, and once again, the more important thing, your shit won't stink. Four, frequency is key. The amount of times you eat per day has to be spread out evenly. You have to be eating at least five solid meals a day. Approaching towards six would be optimum. I really don't care if people are looking at you funny when you're having and packing all those Tupperware containers. Just glare at them awkwardly. And then bark at them if they keep staring. <laughs> Lastly, ignore supplements. Supplements are a big waste of time. Weight gainers, you know, protein shakes that don't work, things that you inject. I really don't want to hear about it. They don't work. Forget all those supplements. Save your money on food and women or both. Trust me on that. So now you build the muscle with all these tips. So you want it with an ectomorph, you gotta follow these five tips. Nutrition is part of it. And if there's enough comments, so leave a comment below. You better, because then I will post a training segment on how ectomorphs should train. So I look forward to hearing you say what you gotta say.